Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Reactor and this is Quinn. And today's article comes from smh.com.au, which is like an Australian website probably. It's titled, How to Attract a Killer Tigress? That's a question, apparently. Try Calvin Klein Cologne. I think a better title would be, like, that's a horrible, what? That's a Calvin horrible Calvin Klein title. Cologne attacks. Or attracts, attracts tigers. Like, tigers. I don't know. know. They, yeah. they worded it in a weird way. Does that help them get ads? Honestly, or? like it, from, as a, as like just a, a you know consumer observing it as a consumer, I, I I think wow that that's pretty cool. I don't want to wear the cologne, but yeah. wow, in the same it attracts end. tigers. That's strong. That's like a, it seems like it would be good for your brand if you're into that thing. I wonder I wonder what their sales are like in India. Uh, yeah. yeah. So basically, it's cologne attracts tigers. So I'm wondering if they put, like, tiger pheromones in it. You know, like tiger blood. Oh. Right? Like, this is where all these endangered tigers are going. Oh, to, like, there might be ivory in these. Maybe there's ivory in them, because t- tigers eat li- or eat elephants. So if there's ivory in the cologne, it would attract tigers. Unless it's tiger so, pheromones. That's also possible. It's quite a reach, Dave, but... You don't think so? Well, you know, anything's possible. Yeah. Uh... India, do man-eating tigers like Calvin Klein cologne? Indian authorities are about to find out. Oh, so they didn't find out yet. For the past six months, forest rangers in a wet and bushy patch of central India have been chasing a cunning female tiger suspected of killing 13 people. Were they all wearing Calvin Klein cologne? Is that (laughs) her? It's a lot of people for one tiger these days. The tigress, known as T1, has gone rogue, but it's hoped she will be caught with the help of Calvin Klein obsession cologne. It seems like a lot of people, although I have nothing to compare this to as far as tiger attacks, because I'm not real, like, up on the tiger attacks of 2018. You know, you know it's funny, though. It said that the tiger went rogue, which totally makes sense in the sense of the word rogue, but mm-hmm. it also makes sense in the sense of, like, World of Warcraft rogue, where you're, like, stealthy and, <laughs> and sneaking around and killing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> All right. Turn invisible. They have thrown just about everything they have at the Tigris. Hundreds of foot soldiers to comb the jungle, bulldozers to clear it, sharpshooters, jeeps, camera traps, and thermal imagery drone, and five Indian elephants in hopes of surrounding the Tigris so the veterinarians riding the elephants can dart her. No luck. So the rangers plan to deploy a new weapon, a bottle of Calvin Klein Obsession Cologne. It's like a movie. I feel like like in the future, in the future, we're not even going to get to see these kind of, or hear about these kind of stories because there won't be any Tigers. I feel like, and I know this sounds inhumane, but the fact that there are still tigers that are killing people, it's it's Darwinism at its finest. And, you know, they wanna... did they deserve to die? Should they have died? Absolutely not. Uh-huh. But the fact that a tiger killed a human, 13 human beings at this day and age, it's, it's uh, to me, it's, it's slightly uh, comforting knowing there's animals still in the wild, even though they did kill 13 people, which is terrible. Humans kill... How many? Hundreds of thousands of, of, of animal, tigers? Uh, and know. a tiger kills 13 people and everyone gets bent out of shape? I don't know. Like, and now they're, now they're trying to track down this tiger. And I'm kind of like on the fence about whether I want them to, you know, euthanize or kill it, you know. And they're probably going to. I know it's really funny, said Sunil Limay, Limay, one of the top forestry officials directing the tiger hunt. But what are we going to do? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like the tiger has a taste for human flesh, so you... You know, you can't put it in a zoo. I definitely don't want them to, to, to kill this tiger. Yeah, it's a tiger. It's you doing know, tiger keep things. It, keep it alone. It's ro- It wants to be alone. Just just keep yeah. it separate away from... Like, maybe yeah. humans should try not to get eaten by tigers when you go into a tiger place. Like, a place that has tigers, you do your best not to get hurt by the tiger because it's not... Like, I don't think they're going to kill the tiger, actually. Is, is it coming into, like, uh, you, city areas? Do you kill an endangered animal that attacked a human? You shouldn't kill any animal just for attacking a human because animals attack humans and humans attack animals, you know? I mean, should there be rules to this? Should you be allowed to kill it? I don't think you can. If you have only just a spear to make it fair. Bare bare hands. Bare feet. Uh Uh-huh. If you kill a a tiger, bare hands, then that's true. You earned it. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. I mean... Same with a bear. I mean... Yeah, you earned that. If you shoot it, you're just a loser. Like, okay. Like, oh, well, wow. Yeah, wow, yeah. You're one of those man. people that goes out and shoots tigers. I saw this, you're, not, you're not, to keep, not to keep deviating, but I saw this video where this guy, it was like a, a TV show on cable TV, and uh, this guy was like, yeah, we're going to be hunting mountain lions today. And then <laughs> he, he opens his truck bed, and like uh, five dogs run out barking, 
and then he's waiting, mm. and then he's like, yep, they found him, and he walks over to the tree where they're all looking up barking and goes, got one. Like, what, <laughs> what did you do? Right. <laughs> like, right. I, I See, when you said that, I, didn't, I don't hunt, so I didn't even know. What I thought you were going to say is all his dogs surrounded the tiger, and then there was a dog-tiger fight, and the tiger killed all the dogs. No. Oh. No, the tiger went into the tree, or the cat went in the tree. This fragrance for men includes a civetone compound originally derived from the scent glands of a civet, though now often made synthetically. Uh, obsession has been billed as irresistible to women, but because of the civetone, it is also scientifically proven to be to make wild cats go gaga. They roll around it, they take huge sniffs, they luxuriate in the smell for several minutes. Hmm. Huh, so it's, it's pheromones. That's kind of cool. Cat pheromones, right? Wow. Whatever is in that, cats love it, a cat expert in Australia told Scientific American. They just seem to be in absolute heaven. Call it outside the box thinking, or just pure desperation, but India is going to need some fresh ideas if its tiger population continues to shoot up as it has been. Like, now it's, now it's a problem that an endangered species... Or I mean, all, all tigers are endangered, right? I predators. So, throughout history, humans have killed predators. We've almost exterminated the... The right. apex I think I, th- I think from what I have read, it's a big the biggest problem in places like China, where they still believe that taking extracts of certain parts yeah, of a, yeah. an animal will g- give you health benefits. But I'm talking about like the wolves were eradicated from medieval Europe, right? You know that kind of thing. Like we kill predators, right? But luckily, wolves are around, protected. Enough. Since yeah, they the can't 70s. go endangered really because there's in, so in many and they do well. Uh, where was I? Uh, in the past decade? <laughs> yeah. In the past decade, India's tiger count has soared to 2,500, the world's largest tiger population. At the same time, India, just after China, has the world's second largest human population at 1.3 billion, and the people and tigers are getting squeezed together. Endangered tigers are spilling out of dedicated res- reserves, roaming around thinning patches of forest and trotting through farms. Surrounded on all sides by villages, highways, industry, and towns, the tigers are increasingly running into humans. Okay. Indian Forest Service rangers near a cage used to transport tranquilized tigers. This is what happens to the. This is what happened to the tigress, who wildlife officials call T1. She lives in a fragmented forest near the town of Pendharkoda, in the middle of India. She has dragged away several villagers by the neck. On some of her victims, she and her two cubs have devoured large chunks of their flesh. Villagers are panicked, avoiding their fields and locking their doors at night which they never used to do. Uh, there must not be food. Yeah. That's that definitely got to be it. They're hunting. They're trying, She's got babies. She's trying to eat. Right. I don't give a fuck if you're a human or a, or a monkey. Right. Same thing to me. I'm a tiger. <laughs> right. Tigers think all primates look alike. Tiger experts in India say they can't remember a recent tiger ordeal as intense as this. The case has risen all the way to the Supreme Court. Last month, after a spirited dispute between state authorities and wildlife activists about the fate of T1, the Supreme Court judges handed down what was essentially a life sentence. The rangers should try their best to capture T1 to transport her to a refuge center or a zoo. But if that fails, the judges ruled the T1, then T1 can be killed. Okay. It's a shame because this this animal is, is forced to hunt because its hunting ground is diminished because of human overpopulation. Humans are blaming it. So yeah. it has to be moved to a new location, a zoo, or hopefully it's some kind of a tiger wildlife uh, yeah, reserve because probably. a zoo is like is the be- is, is they, just the same as death, really. You know, and if there's food, I, I'm pretty sure like this tiger doesn't want to hunt humans. Probably not. It would rather have a buffalo. It's a dangerous game. Or a cow. going into a human area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When, every morning at sunrise, sorry, <laughs> every morning at sunrise, dozens of state forestry guards and police officers trudged trudge out of a makeshift camp carrying AK-47s, tranquilizer guns, GPS locators, water bottles, and foil containers of rice and lentils. Their lunch. Like, why are they telling us about lentils? All day they fight their way through scratchy mazes of lantana bushes that smell sharp and peppery, all while wearing Calvin Klein Obsession Cologne. They check more than 100 camera traps, they search for tiger hairs, and study the stony undulating... Wow, I don't know that word. Undulating? Undula- undulating? Undulating? I don't know. Terrain for tiger tracks, known as pug marks. Is there any undulating terrain? 
At dusk, they return, sweaty and exhausted. They line up to guzzle water and gobble down a jalebi, an Indian snack of fried dough slathered in sticky syrup. The reports stack up on a plastic table in the boxes for observations or sightings. The answers are all the same. Nil, nil, nil. Which is no? Is yeah, I suppose. No? It's Indian for no. Nothing. Yeah. All right. No. <laughs> no, probably not. But <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. In the past few months, T1 has been spotted only a few times for just a few seconds. The rangers have s- sacrificed several horses to draw her out. What? Several? Like, they've been uh-huh. losing them still? Yeah, like, like oh, okay, put another the horse out there. Leave a horse out there overnight. Maybe, maybe she'll come. Something else ate it instead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? Oh, no, no, she did, though. Or they're feeding it. Horses. They why, are feeding Like, her. why don't they yeah. put out cows, if that's the case? You know? Right. Or- and then the tiger will be fed. The tiger doesn't want to eat humans. That's not its goal. It wants to eat. You know? Right, so right. if you... They're like, oh my god, she's killing our horses too. Like, you're... Oh my god. They're not that smart, apparently. She's not meant to be killed. She's... She's ripped into them, eaten fast, then vanished. The rangers managed to dart her once, but the dart didn't stick and she slipped away. And now she's not coming back. No. <laughs> Tranquilizer darts are notoriously difficult to use. About 10 inches long with a feather on the back, they look like a flying syringe. They must be fired at close range, usually no more than 80 feet away. That's not very close. But, I mean, it's not a sniper rifle. It's a call to someone to create a more aerodynamic flying syringe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's going to be impossible to tranquilize her, said Nawab Shafat Ali Khan, one of India's most famous hunters who has killed dozens of elephants and tigers that went, in his words, rogue. Oh, wow, this guy sounds like a douchebag. Total douche. I Elephants like that went rogue? Oh, how about you leave? You know? And then there's yeah, nothing it's like called that. get out of its zone, uh-huh. and it won't trample you. She has learned from all these botched capture operations. We've made her very smart. Brilliant, actually. Yeah, so leave her alone. Oh, he's like, oh, the perfect prey. I bet you he gets such a hard-on for shooting elephants. Uh-huh. Oh, is that him? Nah. That, those look like uh, park workers or like... Uh, yeah, maybe. He said it was highly unusual for a tiger to turn it into a man-eater. Yeah, it's starving. But there's little traditional prey like deer left around. Yeah, see? I called it. Once a tiger encounters a person and kills, it may develop a taste for human flesh. I really doubt it, dude. Which, Khan says, is sweeter than other animal meat because of all the ginger, salt, and spices people consume. No. I I doubt it because I I know how smart cats are, and especially wild cats. They, They know... That they don't they don't want to be coming into human areas. It's a last resort for them. Uh-huh. And I also know that like in zoos, uh, if like a, a cat, a large cat, is well fed with like you know steaks, it won't hurt any of like the rabbits that come into its enclosure. Other animals are safe around it as long as it's as being long fed. as it's fed, right? Yeah. yeah. So I mean, obviously, yeah, it'll do anything to eat. You know, right? Like that, and that comes down to a lot of things. I would do anything to eat, right? I would do a lot of things to eat if I couldn't, you know? Mm-hmm. Was, yep. Ali Khan, a Forest Service sharpshooter with a tranquilizing dart gun, believes it will be impossible to tranquilize the tiger. The believing is everything. This, this, he doesn't Shut want to off. be able to tranquilize the tiger. He's like, no, i got to use a 50 cal. not a believer. got to use know? a 50 cal. No, he wants to kill it. Right, right. He's making excuses like, oh, no, exactly. it's got a taste for human flesh. And Shafath's Gone excuses rogue. are probably for a bloodlust and just get over it man uh uh-huh. he said t1 has learned how easy it is to kill a person and that she has now gone psycho no as the unsuccessful capture operations drag on the frustrations grow so do the dan- so do the dangers that's a whole sentence last week in the middle of the night one of the search and capture elephants broke its chain and escaped from the ranger's camp at 70 a- at 7 a.m the rangers received a distress the distress call from 16 kilometers away. The elephant was rampaging through a village, smashing fences. It grabbed one woman with its trunk and slammed her to the ground repeatedly. Yeah, it was just enslaved. I know this sounds terrible, but I absolutely want to see an elephant grab someone in their trunk and slam it on the ground. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Uh huh. That would be a pretty cool. I've movie. never movie seen it. Scene I've something? seen it in cartoons, but I've never seen it in real. Nobody came to help her, said Nag. It was Shwar Shandikar, a friend. Everyone was too scared. After killing her, the elephant, oh man, stomped off to another village where it headbutted a man walking down the road, leaving him with a deep gash in his forehead, dazed but alive. It was pissed. It was it was like, capture me, motherfuckers. I'm yeah, gonna like, try you. that again. Yeah. I'll show you. But then they killed it, I'm sure. Yeah. Right. It was gravely injured by an elephant brought in to help in the capture of Finally, with the help of Mahout, 
a traditional elephant trainer, the rangers captured the escape pa escaped pachyderm. It was still dragging its enormous steel chain. That was the tipping point, said A.K. Mishra, the chief wildlife officer in the area. Too many lives have been lost, he said, and the capture operation cannot go on indefinitely. You just keep feeding it then, you know? Ah, they... These people have no respect for animals. The strategy now is to locate T1 and try to tranquilize her. But if she is too far away, forestry officials said, then a sharpshooter should finish her off. They hope to tranquilize the cubs. The rangers plan to spray the clone near the camp traps to lure T1 to a place where they can surround her. This is like the first mention of the clone in a long time. Mm -hmm. It's a game of wait and watch, said Limai, the forestry official. At present, we are on the receiving end. As night fell, he stood on the porch of the ranger station, surrounded by a bush. Nearby, in the thickening gloom, sat a steel box. It was a tiger cage, big, green, rusty, and empty. Yeah. Like, so, you know, I, the way he ended that was so corny. I only have one thing to say, Dave, and it's that part of humanity's job is to take care of animals, wild and domestic, and that is part of our job. And whether we want to take that on or not, it's our own free choice. But I feel, as my opinion, that it's part of our job. Well, if humans are gods, then yes, it would be our job. And I kind of believe humans are the equivalent of gods because in the we're universe. like an apex. We're an apex predator. Yeah, we can create life. We can absolutely destroy life. We control ecosystems. You know, right, right. But uh, uh, with with this whole article, I just it illustrates how humans think they're better than all the other animals. You know. You know, humans can go around murder, wiping out an entire species, but if one of one animal from a species attacks them, all of a sudden it's like, oh my god, it's a dangerous species. Thankfully, you there's know? there's people there are people like um, the ones that are on this specific case that that simply want to tranquilize the animal and move it to a safe location instead of just doing what uh, some yeah. of these people would well, like to do. Well, it's endangered, like I was saying. Right. They probably there's probably oh, it's really tricky to be authorized to kill an endangered animal. Right. Yeah. So do you have anything else you want to say? Yep, that's about it uh, for the article. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Like the video if you could, if you don't mind, and you liked it. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one.